Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka the D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today I've got this gigantic box right here. Um, it it's a big Gatorade box, and it it's one of these boxes that holds four one liter bottles in it, uh, old box. But one of my friends, uh, he gave it to me, and it is jam packed full of trading cards. Now, I don't know if it's um, all baseball, uh, a mixture, or what, but he said, hey, he was getting rid of it, and if you want it, it's yours. Here we go. Let's see what is in here. Uh, I have not looked at all. Uh, it was taped when he gave it to me, so we will see what's in it together. It, it, it very easily could be all commons. Uh, I Again, I have no idea. So... Let's see what is in here. Uh, try not to cut in here. Uh, uh, Bill, uh, he's the one that gave me the uh, starting lineups last week, and he gave me this this week. So let's see. Let us see. Uh, all right. All right. So. You guys have the same view that I've got. Pretty much the same view. So, like I say, there's no telling what is in here. First off, let's just see this little pack of non-sports cards. This is some Looney Tunes cards. Let me switch this over here. There we go. All right. Now we're in business. This little pack of Looney Tunes. Um, this is going to take a while because there's a ton of cards in here. It's funny, I remember when, when these things come out. Looney Tunes by Upper Deck. This is, I, I think he said pretty much everything is mid-90s. So, let's see. Some Looney Tunes. <laughs> uh, Daffy. Uh, Donald. Look at all these guys. So much fun back in the day. We're well, going kind of fast with them, but this is a gigantic box, and I don't want to be here uh, until tomorrow going through these. <laughs> And a duplicate. <laughs> and I've got another little box over here. I'm going to drop them into. All right, let's see. 90 upper deck, or 91. 91 upper deck. Uh, let's see what's in here. Who knows? Um, I do have, just in case if there's anything good at it, top loader. And uh, some card sleeves. So let's see. My guess is it's probably going to be mostly commons, but we'll see. Frank Tanana. I used to call him Frank Banana. Lee Smith. Uh, I think he's in the Hall of Fame. Kelly Gruber had a good uh, career. Mark Lemke. I remember him with the Braves for a few years. I used to always love these. The uh, team checklist cards. I used to always love that. Who is that? Is that Willie McGee? It is Willie McGee. I forgot he played for the Giants for a while. Andy Van Slyke. Ah, one of my favorite players, Sean Abner. Too bad he was never very good. You know, I'm going to pull old Sean aside. I was always a big fan of his. Mainly because I remember seeing him here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Hubie Brooks. Todd Benzinger. Bernard Gilkey. Who is that? Johnson. All right. Dang. This might be a two-part video because there is a ton of stuff in here. Hey, fish, what is going on, brother? Let's see what's in this. Oh, I remember when these come out. The throwback cards. What is that? To sixty or to um, fifty-three? I think. Couple of Jim Hearns. Trying to hold it. I mean, come around this way. There we go. That's much better. No answers. I have no idea what's in here. <laughs> I mean, this box is gigantic. Just jam packed full of stuff. Who is that? 
I say there's a good possibility that it could be nothing but commas in this entire thing. I don't know. But it looks like it is a mixed bag. Robin Roberts, I remember him way back in the day. Let's see. Let's go to some old basketball cards. What year was this? Pete Chilcutt. Gosh, this is definitely early 90s. If I'm not mistaken, this is the year that um, Larry Johnson come out. Grandmama. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Fish, he uh, was like, I don't, I don't need them. You want them? <laughs> and I was like, heck yeah, I'll go through them. All right, worst case scenario, it's nothing I really want. Vinny Del Negro. Oh my gosh. Man. This is kind of a good era for uh, ACC basketball. Year uh, UNLV was dominant. And uh, Duke beat them in the national championship game, I believe. Elliot Perry, I remember him. He had a pretty decent career in the NBA. Oh, these things are old and had a little glossy to them and kind of sticking together. Andrew, uh, nobody any good. Gosh. Oh, yeah, these things are so old, some of them are sticking together. Yeah. Robert Smith. That was the guy that was the running back for Minnesota for a little bit. No, nah, that's not him. Robert McAdoo. Son plays, uh, I think he still plays for the Lakers. I mean, he was playing for the Lakers. He went to uh, North Carolina. Might be a different McAdoo. Wow, I got this gigantic box right beside me, and I missed it. I'm not a very good basketball player. Yeah. Fennis Dembo. All right, Fennis Dembo. I remember this guy had a really, really good uh, year. Gosh, what school was I can't even tell what school he played at. But he had a really good year in college. Just the name, Fennis Dembo. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I just started. Just a... Uh, Oh, uh, what? A couple minutes ago. Probably right before you jumped in. <laughs> yeah, this is, is a jack good. You just want good goobly goo on me. <laughs> okay, I remember that from uh, Grady Wilson back in the day on Sanford and Son. Good goobly goo. Yeah, I've got. If I get any good cards, I got some poly sleeves over here. I got some top loaders. If there's anything good, I'm going to pretty much guess there's not going to be much good in it. Uh, from this 90s era, wasn't a ton of good stuff in it. Man, these things still sticking together. Nah. Abdul Sami Dean. Eh, I think that guy was supposed to be good once upon a time. All right, we're going to go through these a little bit faster because this is going to take all night. <laughs> Read the names? Okay. Let's see. Who's on the front here? Anthony Avent. I remember him. He had a, a couple good years in the NBA. Uh, Harold Presley. Uh, gosh, I'm thinking of Harold Presley. I don't know about him. Can, can you not hear me? <laughs> yep, good old Samerson. You big dummy. <laughs> Still love that back in the day. When I had my hip replacement, uh, there was a channel at the, uh, the rehabilitation facility that I was at afterwards, and they had a channel that showed that a lot. Good old Sanford and Son.
can't all night. All right. Okay, you can't hear me good. Okay, good. Because I'm using a, I just got, um, I fixed this laptop, uh, took everything out, reinstalled everything. So I'm hoping uh, this is going to give me good streaming because my other one was starting to fade on me, which I'm going to have to uh, clear that out, reinstall Windows and everything, get it almost factory new again. Uh, Chris Mullins, that was a throwback card uh, when he played at St. John's. Doug Overton, I remember he played at Missouri, I believe. Uh, Tom Copa, Jose Ortiz, uh, Marion Brown, My My Myron Brown, not Marion, Myron Brown, uh, Ian Lockhart, gosh, I don't, Doug Overton again, uh, Jerome Miney, Vinny Del Negro, I remember him back in the day at NC State, uh, Perry Carter, Kozel McQueen, I remember him when he played at NC State. Uh, part of that team that won the national championship, I believe. I think he might, or maybe right after that. Yeah, there might be something in here because I'm guessing a lot of this stuff hasn't probably been gone through in a while. So you might have a, a rookie or something kind of thrown in here. All right, what is this? 91 upper deck. Again, this is all this stuff is really from that uh, junk wax era. So, yeah, I'm not going to really hold my breath about having something great in it. Not at all. And I'm actually wondering if these were, like, packed up to sell, like, 20 cards, 25 cards for a dollar type of thing. This one actually has 75 cents on it. So, these might have, you know, way back when these come out, they might have just been put up to, uh, to kind of flip real quick. So, you know, we'll see. Kyle Abbott. Of course, I started the wrong side. And this one's backwards, too. <laughs> Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Darren Fletcher. Melito Perez. Ross Meyer. Rob Meyer. Look at that, Ross. I'm old and blind, guys. <laughs> Otis Nixon, I remember him for a few years. Uh, Kevin Bash, Joe Orsolak, Lenny Harris, Gary Carter from my New York Mets for a while. But this is at the end of his career when he was with the Dodgers. Tim Tolfel, remember him with the Mets? That's with the Padres. Joe Girardi, I keep hearing he might end up being uh, the manager of my New York Mets. We'll, we'll see about that. I'm hearing lots of names for that. Uh, Omar Vizquel, probably be a Hall of Famer. Dennis Olcan Boyd. Uh, Ricky Bonus. I'm not going to read all of them just because so, so many of these are terrible. Uh, Bobby Ojeda. Uh, again, he was uh, on that Mets championship team back in 86. Joe Fatello. I think he was all right for a couple years. Wally Backman. Again, another member of the 86 Mets. Spike Owen. Ricky Jordan. Terry Kennedy. Pat Borders. Was Pat Borders in there and I missed him? I'll try to... Uh, I do not have a rookie card list for uh, 91. I, gosh. I know 90 had uh, your Frank Thomas rookie. Um, uh, let's see. Who else? Frank Thomas... Larry Walker, um, gosh, who else was rookie that year? Dog on it. Sammy Sosa. That was the other big one that was in uh, 90. 91, I don't remember too much good in it. Let's see, there's a, looks like some single cards over here. Let's see what's in these. There's some more, a few more singles right there. All right, some more of the Looney Tunes cards. Who knows, there seems to be a lot of Looney Tunes. Maybe I can put together a whole set of Looney Tunes. All right. Proline football. One thing I hated about these cards, they did not put the names on the front. Find some Joe Carter, uh, Barry Bonds, Ricky Henderson, uh, Michael Jordan. I hope I could find a, a Michael Jordan uh, baseball card in here. That'd be awesome. 
Howie Long. Remember his son played at UVA. Uh, Mike Pryor. Hmm, I don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, gosh. I can't think of his name. Al Edwards. That's back when they were on their way to losing four Super Bowls in a row. <laughs> Jim Everett. I do remember him. Who is this guy being a cowboy? Tim Rosenbach. Remember, he, he was supposed to be pretty good. Gretzky. Uh, Brian Shorter, who is that? Perry Carter. I remember this set. This one, this set is the one that had uh, all four sports in it, the classic. Rob Carpenter, Chris Smith. I think this one had all four of them in it. And they had that super glossy, so a lot of them will stick together, and they don't want to come apart. That's the only bad thing about glossy cards. Oh, you could hear that one coming apart. <laughs> Great day. <laughs> we have Barry Sanders, uh, Emmett Smith, Troy Aikman, all those guys. Well, I guess everybody from Dallas Cowboys there for a couple years. Everybody wanted. Let's see. Uh, who is Mark Kroon? Dexter Davis. Gosh. Uh, Ed McCaffrey. That's kind of cool because his son is playing really, really well for um, the Carolina Panthers. How about that? There you go. John. Stathy. Gosh. Is that uh, George Eccles? He played on that. Um, that uh, UNLV team that was just dominant for a while. All right. If we find any uh, Clemens and I know that that comment come up a little bit earlier, but I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I'm just now reading it as looking through some of these. <laughs> George Eccles, Randy Browns, uh, Joey Wright. Anthony Jones. Oh, this is these are stuck together. Nice. Jimmy Oliver. Another Doug <laughs> Overton. Apparently, he was very popular this year. I thought it said Seth Green, <laughs> Sean Green. <laughs> oh my goodness, these bad boys are stuck. Yeah. Let's see. I, like I said, I like these pro lines. I just hate they didn't put the names on the front. Is that Dorson? Ah, Chris Dolman, not Dorson. Jerry Glanville, when he had that run and shoot offense. Anthony Munoz, one of the best offensive linemen of all time. Nice family card of somebody's family. Uh, Jack Kemp, that's the owner of the uh, the Bills. <laughs> Everybody's got dibs. <laughs> Chris Miller for the Falcons. Okay. <laughs> Gosh. And that's Jerry Glanville and uh, hey Johnny Cash. We got a Johnny Cash card. How about that? And a couple, I think that's Chris Chris Offerson uh, from Blade, the movie Blade. Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings is the other guy. I do not know anything about country music. You know, I'm pulling that aside just because you know, it's, it's got some pretty cool people on that one. That looks like my arms when I take my shirt off. <laughs> Is that uh, Chris Miller and somebody going skiing? So that was kind of a waste there. And Chad Gallagher. You know what? We're doing a baseball one. I used to have um, a really great collection, but I, I just kind of quit collecting for a while. 
kind of just now getting back into it. We had a huge collection. All kinds of sets and everything from back in the day. Molitor and uh, Brett Butler. Brett Butler was an underrated guy. Chris Kroon. Uh, Denny Nagel. Omar Overton. Ballas. Um, Steve Finley. He had a solid career. Carlos Baerga. I wonder how close that is to his rookie. That's probably his second year. I think he had those really ugly yellow uh, 90, 91. This is 92, isn't it? Yeah. I think he had that really ugly yellow 91 was his rookie card. Brett Barbary. Remember him for a year or two. But I do not remember Juan Barringer. All right. Royce Clayton. I remember him for a couple years. Orlando Merced, I remember him. Jim Ganter, I don't know why I passed him without saying his name. Melita Perez, another one. Juan Samuel. Hey, there's the brothers. Sandy Alomar Jr. and Roberto Alomar. Tom Goodwin, uh, Lynch, Langford, Soho, Anthony, uh, Todd, uh, Dave Hollins, not Todd Hollins. Henry Cotto, Doug Jones, another Bayerga, another Barbary, another Barringer, a checklist. One thing I loved about the Fleer cards back in the day, they always put all their cards in order by teams. And I believe they're all the teams were in alphabetical order when they put them out. So I, that made it really easy to sort them. Kent Merker. I remember Kent Merker, uh, a pitcher, hit two home runs off my Mets in one game. I'll never forget that. Charlie Huff, uh... I think when he was born, he looked like he was 50 years old and only got older as he went. Uh, Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. There we go. <laughs> I feel very confident most of these cards are going to be trash. <laughs> Maybe that's why I got them for free. <laughs> but you know, like I said, I mean, there's a ton of cards in here. Might have had something overlooked. Maybe. I mean, the way we're going, I'm not going <laughs> to... Yeah, the checklist might have been worth the most. That is a legitimate point on that one. Like, these old basketball, I'm just going to kind of ignore those. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, we had a whole slew of these. That's Jim Everett right there. Who is that? Working out. Tim Rose. Another Tim Rosenbach. What is going on with Tim? Hardy Nickerson. I remember him for a while. He was a tough dude. Uh, Mark Kelso. Lorenzo White. Oh, those two cards right there. Christian Okoye, the Nigerian Nightmare. Rich Gann. He had a really good career and then started getting really bad injuries. Bobby Haybear. Wow. Man, this might have been a bad idea. <laughs> he should have paid me to take these. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What is in this one right here? All right. Uh, Skybox Football. Carrier on one side, and uh, both defensive guys. Cornerbacks, I believe, on both of them. Let's see. Mark Carrier, I remember him for them. Salah, defensive, I think that guy was a nose tackle back in the day. Uh, is that Carnell Lake? Is that what his name was? Yep, Carnell Lake. Ah, Jeff George, number one pick in the draft, who was a bust. Carter, league leader. Hey, it's Jim Kelly, Hall of Famer. There's another Tim Rosenbach. I think he's going to be the guy that I really don't want to see ever again. Is that Hasty? James Hasty. I don't remember him. Fuller. Uh, Lloyd, he was a heck of a defensive guy for a long time. Yeah, let's see. Daryl Williams, rookie. Eric Metcalf, Gruber, Mark Rippon. That's 
kind of there. All right, down to deep in there. All right, grab a few packs from deep. All right, we're at 91 done, Russ, I believe. Is that 92? I think this is 92 done, Russ, I believe. Yep, 92. I don't remember anybody good from the 92 year. Hey, there's a Ricky Henderson. There's Ricky. Kevin Elster. Mark Lee. Darren Fletcher. Let's go flip, flip them over. Robin Ventura. Ken Herbeck. Dave Winfield. Hey, there's another Hall of Famer. Rob Dibble, who threw a baseball in the fans and hit a teacher after a game because he got mad. Casey Candell. Uh, Juan Samuel, Frank Banana. I know it's Tanana, but I always call him Banana. Sabra Hagen. Dale Murphy, very good player in the 80s. Kenny Lofton, rookie card. That's not too shabby. Had a very, very good career. Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Let's pull that Winfield out, Hall of Famer. Saw Dave Winfield on TV today. Man, he still looks good to be as old as he is. A lot of people don't know this about him, but he was uh, drafted in baseball, um, the NBA, I think the uh, the ABA back in the day, two basketball leagues. I think he might have also been drafted in football. I mean, that is an athlete. All right. Lonnie Smith, Mark Williamson, Mike Bordick. Manny Lee, Kurt Manwaring. I always thought Manwaring was a funny name. Gino Petrelli, Ricky Bones. Uh, let's see, anybody? Neil Heaton, I remember him. For some reason, I didn't like Neil Heaton back in the day. I don't know why. Dickie Thon. I used to always call him Marathon. And Jack Howell and Omar Vizquel. Let's see, Omar's Vizquel's rookie card was probably in 1990. Definite Hall of Famer from back in the day. Yeah, you give me a strawberry and good, and I'm a happy camper. Let's see, you know what? Here's an old uh, upper deck basketball. Yeah, well, let's see what's in here. Daryl, Daryl. I remember seeing him back in 19, either 80 or 81, and um, uh, in Lynchburg when he played for the Lynchburg Mets, and he hit a home run. I, I swear it went 500 feet into a cemetery across the street, but I'm pretty sure it didn't go that far. But I was what eight, nine years old, and I just he was my favorite player ever since. Just because we had the same name. Victor Alexander, Otis Thorpe. Oh, I swear no matter which way I look, they're always going to be the opposite way. Uh, Scott Skiles, I believe. Yep, Scott Skiles. Tom Chambers. I always like Tom Chambers. He's got one of the greatest dunks I've ever seen. Isaiah Ryder. <laughs> Let's see, uh, John Shasky, Larry Vault, Loy Vault, not Larry Vault, Loy Vault. Um, it's not Mark Aguirre, um, or, or Rolando Blackman? Rolando Blackman, look at me, another. Uh, let's see, John Turner, Tim McCormick, Scott Hastings, uh, Larry Christobiak, Spud Webb. True story about Spud Webb. I kind of feel bad about this to this day. Uh, the year he won the slam dunk contest, uh, they had it in the afternoons back then. And me and one of my friends, uh, but they actually, they aired the slam dunk contest at night. So me and one of my friends was watching it, and we bet on who was going to win. I already knew who had won, so I won that bet because Spud Webb had won. <laughs> you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Nope. Not no inserts yet. All right, ninety-two score. I 
was trying to think if Jeter was in this, but no, he wasn't. I was thinking maybe he might have had a draft pick card in this one, but I don't think so. I think that was 93, or, or not 93. Oh, yeah, 93, I think. Wade Taylor, Juan Bell. There's Kurt Manwaring again. Terry Steinbeck. He had a solid career. Remember when uh, the A's won the championship? Quar uh, quarterback and catching for them. Spud. I don't know if anybody even remembers Spud anymore <laughs> besides me. Him and uh, Muggsy Bogues. I always like Muggsy Bogues too. Rich Gossage, Hall of Famer. The Goose. Uh, Joe Orsalak. Tim Layana. Chris Hoyles. John Marzano. Todd Froworth. Kevin Apier had a couple good years. Uh, Chris Jones. Don't remember him. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be fun to uh, after the video to go through all this because separate everything. What is this here? I think that's Refrigerator Perry right there on the front. I believe. Oh no! What am I thinking? Singletary, Mike Singletary. What was I thinking? Fridge. I guess I just saw Chicago Bears in that era. Mike Singletary, Hall of Famer. Um, gosh, I don't remember who that is. Uh, Ken O'Brien from that famous 1983 class. Wow, Lawrence Taylor. I don't, I don't know why I couldn't think of LT. Sam Wycheck. No, Sam, Sam Weich, not Wycheck. Yeah, must be uh, nobody good. There's another Howie Long. So I remember they were just trying to give um, football players more personality back when they made these. So uh, instead of everybody just having helmets on, you can kind of see them. Let's see what else. More of the studio cards. There's another pack of studio cards. Man. Ah. Oops. I don't smack my camera. <laughs> there we go. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. There we go. Bit Roberts. Derek Hill, and we got Toronto. Mickey Morandini, Mark Lewis, Butch Henry. Hey, the big unit. There we go. Randy Johnson, pull Randy aside. There's a Joe Carter. Checklist, Red Shandies. Uh, legendary St. Louis Cardinals player back in the day, then became a coach. Another Winfield back with Toronto. The Wizard, Ozzie Smith. Always liked Ozzie Smith. Dutch Dalton. Uh, he passed away last year or earlier this year. Yeah, Greg Olson and Mike Morgan. I think that's going to be the uh, best pack of the whole thing, I believe. All right. Mike Devereaux. Rob Dibble. The Nasty Boys back in the day. Pedro Guerrero. I liked him back with the Dodgers. There's another Winfield. Bell, uh, Greg Olson, Jeff Reardon, Donovan Osborne, Tim Toffel, Jeff Brantley, Jack Armstrong, Biggio, Hall of Famer, Rob Deere. Hey, there's your Pat Borders. Find some more of those because those were 
couple of good packs right there. Let's see. Let's, let's dig back down in here again. Oh, this one right here is going to be good right off the bat. So I can get them open. Oh, one second. All righty. Yeah, Borders was on Toronto in this card. Yep. There's Borders. And these been in here so long that the on the team bags, the glue has stuck to them. <laughs> the bag and starting to rip them. Tony Gwynn. One of my favorite players of all time. Uh, Go and try to find me a good, highly graded rookie card of his. May he rest in peace. A legend. We'll see. I hope there's some inserts in here. Is that Dave Steve? Yep, Dave Steve for the uh, the team set cards. Again, I, I like these because of that the paintings that they made on the team set cards. It's another Willie McGee, uh, Danny Darwin, Tim Cruz. Kevin Brown, who is that? Mike Riminger, another Froworth, Mike Benjamin. I always like those old throwback jerseys too, when they did those. Alan Trammell, there's another Ozzy Smith, the Wizard. Walt Weiss, Rookie of the Year, I believe in 88, I think. I think 1988 or 1987. There's a Rob Dibble. Our foil. I don't know how many foil cards was from this era. Let's see here. This is Stadium Club. This might have been the first year of Stadium Club, 91. Oh, yeah, these have been here a long time. <laughs> Hey, these might actually not be sticking together. Warren Newsom. Just uh, one of those little inserts that it's just, uh, you know, trash. <laughs> but it counts as an insert. <laughs> Another Frank Tanana. Tim Burke. Jeff uh, Fazaro. Tom Goodwin. Sid Landrum. Sid Bream. I remember him for the for the Pirates and the Braves back in the day. John Marzano, Scott Service, Russ Swan, Mike Greenwell. He had a good few years to start his career and then kind of fell off the face of the earth. Uh, Jeff Plimpton, Brian Barnes, Bob Ojeda, and Brian Downing. One thing I loved about these cards, you flip them over and it showed their tops rookie cards on the back. I always thought that was really, really cool. Like, um, Brian Downing, what is that, 75? 74. 1974 tops. I thought that was really cool that they did that on these. Yeah, I definitely want to find uh, a Thomas. And these, um, so I remember this year's Thomas cards was very expensive back in the day when they first come out. All right, let's see here. Had a little bit of luck with Upper Deck. Let's see, 92 Upper Deck. Oh, Hershiser, never liked him. To this day, I still don't like him. Hey, Pedro Martinez. How about that? Yeah, that's a Pedro rookie card. How about that? How about that? That's not too shabby. Tyler Green, Derek Bell, Fred McGrip, the crime dog, uh, Delano DeShields, Howard Johnson, good old Hojo. I used to have some rookie Thomases, but again, 
through the years I kind of sold my collections and and um, you know just back in the day we had a, a card shop so we pretty much got everything and sold it I, I still have some of my strawberry rookies my good rookies um, hey it's Kirby Puckett there you go Doug Drabeck Wally Whitehurst and some more commons how about that there you go that's a good find might not be worth much but look how skinny he was back in the day when he first come up Cause remember him and his brother uh ramon martinez uh they came up together in the dodgers organization That's that's not too bad. You know what? That's the first one going in a sleeve. Pedro rookie card. First one in a sleeve. Let's see, I can set it right there. Ah, uh, got a glare. In just a second, I'll dig in there and knock it off. I can see, I can see that coming already. <laughs> All right, Cliff Brantley, Tom Candiotti. I always liked him. Jones, Brown, Tyler, or Taylor, not Tyler. Uh, Thomas Howard. Well, it's Thomas, not Frank, but Thomas. It's 92, 92 upper deck. There's the brothers again. Another Tom Goodwin, Terry Leach, Ray Langford, Louis, Louis Soho. Is that Carl Anthony? Eric Anthony, not Carl. Roger Sedania. Is that Roger? Alejandro Sedania. Royce Clayton. Ginter. Merced. Perez. Samuel. And Craig Worthington. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that that was his rookie year. I forgot all about it. All right, let's see what was in this. Was that Bagwell's on the front of that one? I think Bags is in the Hall of Fame, if I'm not mistaken. Let's pull Bags aside anyway. Jack McDowell. Uh, Ed Tobinzi. Yeah, a lot of the rated rookies did not come out too well. Same thing with the tops, uh, future stars, and things like that. They usually didn't come out too well. Chuck Knobloch, I remember he was really good for a few years. DJ Dozier, I remember when he came up, I thought he was going to be great. Uh, he was a running back for Penn State. I remember when he played them. Jeff Johnson, Jose Akendo, uh, Edgar Martinez, one of the best hitters in the game, and they have him bunning. <laughs> By the way, Hall of Famer, Darren Jackson, Ruben Sierra, Greg Jeffries. I knew he was going to be a Hall of Famer and not. Cecil Fielder, I remember him. Will Cordero, he had a few good years. Tim Wallach, I always like finding those back at the Expos before they, they moved. Ah, Kurt Gibson, never liked him either. <laughs> Dave Magadan, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Lynn Dykstra, Mike Pagliarulo. Remember when he came up with the Yankees? I was like, this is going to be the next great Yankee. And not so much. <laughs> Gary Reedus and Teddy Higuera. Yeah, I remember when uh, Fielder hit 50 in one year when he played for Detroit. Man. Sad thing about him is uh, him and his son, uh, Prince Fielder, they had a huge falling out. And um, last I heard, this has been a few years, uh, Prince wanted nothing to do with Cecil. That made me really, really sad to hear. I, mean, I, I hope they patch things up through the years. All right, going back to some basketball. Mario Ellie. I always grabbed the wrong side. Aguirre, uh, Olden Polonese, former UVA player, pulling out my Cavalier. Uh, Johnny Newman, 
Eric Lechner. Uh, that was the alley I pulled on the side. Uh, Brad Lowhouse. I don't remember where he played in college. Randy Brower, Terry Davis, Trent Tucker. I'm trying to remember who that is. I can't remember. Uh, Pooh Richardson. Two old Apollonesis in one pack. Oh, my goodness. Mark Jackson. Great player for a while. Junior. Brad John, Sam Mitchell. Uh, I'd like to get some Hall of Famers in here. There's another Spud Webb. Danny Ferry. Uh, Doug Overton. James Worthy. Big game James. Kevin McHale. There's a couple of good players right there. Big game James Worthy. Hall of Famer. Iverson, yeah, I remember Iverson um, when he was in high school, uh, played on the other side of the state of Virginia in uh, Norfolk. Uh, I like these cards, but they all stick together. Oh, man, these are terrible. All right, this, this old basketball again. Rick Mahorn. Oh, my gosh. These are all kinds of stuck together. Yeah, listen to that. That sounds nice when you pull them apart like that. Ah. Mahorn. Where did he go to? Oh, he went to school in Hampton. I thought he was a, a state guy, university, uh, not user, uh, a state of Virginia guy. Ricky Winston. Oh, these two are stuck together. They, they may forever be stuck together. Oh, there we go. Got them apart. Greg Anthony, UNLV. Uh, Elwin Campbell. I don't I think they. <laughs> that is not his name. <laughs> they have Elwin Campbell. I remember when he played at Clemson, it was Eldon Campbell. Uh, unless he changed his name to Elwayne Campbell, which I don't think he did. That's hilarious. Elwayne Campbell. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Uh, Jose Ortiz. Thought he was a baseball player. Let's see. Mike Uzzolino. I do not remember that human being. Uh, there's a Scotty Pippen. That's a throwback. Well, well. <laughs> I looked at Scotty Pippen and I turned it over and I see this guy. <laughs> okay, it's two cards stuck together. <laughs> there we go. We'll pull Pippen aside. I know that's not a rookie or anything, but it's still cool. Chris Corciani. Oh my goodness, these things are stuck together. For a long time, he, he was the uh, the assist leader, the, the career assist leader in the ACC. I don't know if he still is or not. I don't think he is anymore. Oh my goodness, these are terrible. Not only is there really nothing good in it, they all stick together. Yeah, nothing good in that one. Hmm. No, that's when he played. For, I was looking at that Scotty Pippen. That's when he played for the Bulls. That was not um, a draft pick card. Yeah, I'm going to stop looking at those because there's nothing in those that's any good. We're definitely going to pass on those. Oh, look, you try to stay out. Mm -mm. You're going back in there. Let's see. Get both of those. Let's throw both of those in there because I don't think there's going to be anything good in, in those. So we just put those in there. King Rice. I remember when he played at um, uh, North Carolina. If there's a Pippin, there will be a Jordan. We'll see on that. 
uh, Kevin McHale, James Edwards, and got them all backwards. I don't mind seeing a, a Larry Bird or somebody in here. That'd be great. Another Tom Chambers, Kenny Smith, Nick Anderson, Tyrone Hill. I always said this. This guy was so ugly. One of the ugliest athletes I ever saw. Tyrone Hill. And he, he scared me he was so ugly back in the day. <laughs> uh, Ricky Pierce. Saw a couple of, of all-star cars. Thought they might be a Jordan. Joe Dumars. Reggie Lewis. Ah, he could have been a great guy. And uh, he passed away. Another Olden Polynesian. That's three Olden Polynesians. Sure, I'm the only one that cares about that. Yeah, I'm hoping there. That'd be great to have a Jordan in here somewhere. Ah, get back in the pack. What is that? Ah, Derek Thomas. Derek Thomas, Hall of Famer. Derek Thomas. I remember he had a game where he had either seven or eight sacks. In one game. Unfortunately, he is no longer with us. Let's see. What is this here? West Chamberlain. I don't know why he's alone. <laughs> he's not good enough to just be sitting there by himself. Let's see here. Get some stadium club. I need to pick up the pace on this because this video is going to last all night. I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. All right, Wally Whitehurst, and of course I'm backwards on him. Freddie Benavides. George Bell, good old George Taco Bell. Funny story about him. See, it's G-E-O-R-G-E, -E, his rookie card, J-O-R-G-E. -E. How about that? 1982 tops. I still remember that card. Rick Honeycutt. Uh, Will Meyer, uh, Kenny Rogers, if we need some chicken, call Kenny Rogers Roasters over there. Jarvis Brown, uh, Jeff Tackett, Joe Oliver, Poole, uh, Ray Sanchez. He had a couple good years. And Jim Tomey. That, that actually, uh, I don't think that's a rookie, but I know that's a first stadium club. So that might, God, this might be actually his rookie year. So you know what? We'll pull that aside. That might be uh, his rookie card. Which one? Which one is the insert? The, uh, the Derek Thomas? Is that the one you're asking about? This one is not an insert, uh, if this is the one, because it was... Um, just they used to put like little groups of about five cards and they would call them different things like this little group was uh, crunch crew and they had little groups like that in the score cards back in the day if that's the one you were asking about Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to pick up the pace. We're like 20-some minutes in and nothing. I've gone through like, like 20 packs. I've got like 1,000 packs in here. <laughs> Business is about to pick up. Oh, this one might be interesting. I see um, Barry Larkin on the back of that one. Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. Don Slot. Oh, this is a mixed bag here. Uh, Lance Blanks. I think he was probably shooting Blanks because he could. He wasn't very good. Um, Chris Mullins, Sam Perkins. Who is that? Hershey Hawkins. They have Hershey Hawkins on here instead of um, uh, Charles Barkley. Brad Doherty. He was good for a few years. I think he owns a NASCAR team. I know he did. I'm not sure if he still does or not. John Sandoval. 
We'll pull that Barry Larkin Hall of Famer. Pull him aside. Derek Bell, Melito Perez, Doug Desenzo, uh, Glenn Briggs, Jason Grimsley, David West, Shaw, uh, Steve Howe. Steve Howe? And I was thinking Steve Howe was a righty. That was a lefty. I, I was wrong on that. Bren Smith, Wally Whitehurst, John Smoltz. We'll pull old Smoltzy aside. I was not a fan of his when he played, but because he was a, a brave, that's why. Eduardo Perez, I keep hearing he might be named the manager of the Mets. Mike Sosha, and there's a regular Chris Mullen card. Had that sweet stroke. All right, here's a, another one of these. Just going to throw these right straight into the box. I know there's nothing good in those. Now, when I first saw this one on top, I thought it was Barry Bonds. It's not. It's Kevin Bass. This is 91 Leaf, I believe. Or 92 Leaf. I think it's 91. Nope, 92. 92 Leaf. Gary Scott, I remember people thought he was going to be really good. Daryl Hamilton, Pedro Guerrero, Chris Hoyles, Navarro, Bip Roberts, Tony Fernandez, Dave Reggetti, Paul Ossenmacher, Bob Tewksbury, Steve Farr, Dean Palmer, Dave Otto, and there's that Kevin Bass. Yeah. I don't think this video is going to make it through all these because, man, it is some junk in here. Hey, wait a minute. Stop the presses. How about that? How about that? A Juan Gonzalez rookie. Juan Gonzalez. Uh, Kurt Dressendorfer. He's not as good as Juan Gonzalez. <laughs> um, Brian Hunter, he had a few good years. Vincent Edward Bo Jackson, pull that one aside. Luis Gonzalez, I think that's his top traded. That's a rookie card. How about that? How about that? That's not too shabby right there. That's not his rookie card. His rookie card was in uh, 1986. 86 tops traded, then his 87 cards was uh, Bo's rookie, Luis Gonzalez rookie, uh, Juan Gonzalez rookie. Uh, those are definitely getting pulled aside. How about that? Some more of these pro line cards. No good there. Hey, maybe we find uh, some more stuff like that in here. That'd be nice. Uh, some more of these. There's probably nothing any good from this year. I don't believe there was anything good in, in these. You know what? You know what? I, I saw some earlier. There was no good. Let's see. Uh, 92 Ultra, I believe. Yeah, 92 Fleer Ultra. I mean, I'll take that all day long. I mean, that's not too shabby. Got that. Got that. Got that. Some decent rookie cards. You know, Bo, anytime you get a Bo, got that Pedro. That's not shabby at all. Let's see. 92 Flare Ultra. Remember when these come out? I love these cards. Hey, there's a there's one of your Joe Carters. If you can get it out without being all sticky. Joe Carter with the uh the Blue Jays. Who is that? Uh Sean Dunstan. Remember, he had the strongest arm I ever saw from shortstop. Vince Carter. Vince Carter. That's the, that's the basketball player. Vince Coleman. <laughs> Remember when he came up with the Cardinals in 85? Man, he was good. He was so fast. By the time he came to the Mets, he was not 
anywhere near as good. Hey, there's a strawberry. But uh, this is back when he, after he got traded to the Dodgers. Uh, he should have stayed a Met. Kevin Tappany. Uh, is that DeShields? Uh, Reyes. Uh, these are sticking together. Let's see. Steve Decker. Lee Smith. He's a Hall of Famer. Steve Bouchelle. Uh, Mike Maddox, not Greg Maddox. I wish that was a Greg Maddox. It's not a rookie, but still, his rookie was in 87. Gary Gaetti, Kevin Elster, one of my New York Mets. Ruben Sierra, Tim Foley, Jeff Brantley, Tom Pagnazzi. Uh, let's see, Thomas Howard. Luis Rivera, Norm Charlton, and Spanky Lavalle. Lavalle. Lavalle, not Lavalle. Lavalle. Still a strawberry. That's exactly right. Daryl. I'm going to lie. I did not expect to really find anything really good in there. But that's, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. 92. Hmm, 92 score football. I don't believe I bought a single pack of these when they came out. Let's see. Perry Kemp. Hugh Mellon. Belcher. Matt Mellon. Jackie Harris. John Taylor had some good years with uh, San Francisco during those, those great years. None. Shane Conlon, Bailey, Don Beebe. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything good in here. Nah, nothing good in there. Maybe that's why I didn't get any of them. <laughs> Let's go to another pack of these. Uh, 92. 92. Uh, stadium club, if I can get the pack open. There's another pack of Looney Tune cards. I just put those aside. Yeah, when I'm done with this, I'm going to see if I can't get a whole set of those Looney Tunes. Let's see, Johnny Guzman. I never think of Guzman, I always think of Jose Guzman. Uh, Dave Stewart had a great career. You know, I'm going, to, I'm going to downgrade that to a very good career. Biggest thing about him is when they had the, uh, the earthquake in uh, 1989, they said he was down at the, uh, one, of the, um, one of the highways that collapsed, the bridges that collapsed. He was down there almost every day uh, taking water, trying to help people out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, another Rick Honeycutt, Telford, uh, blah, blah, blah on some of these guys. Randy Milligan. And, oh my goodness, you're kidding me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Brett Barbary. Uh, 1988. Um, USA, Team USA cars was his rookie. John Franco. What was Franco's rookie year? Oh, 1985 tops. I thought it was earlier than that. Heathcliff Slocum, Alice Burks, he had a few good years. Good old Alice Burks. Let's see, what is in this one? Um, it'd be awesome to find some, uh, even though I don't like him, a Derek Jeter rookie. I was always a Mets fan, so therefore I couldn't like Jeter. Even though, you know, man, he was good though. Let's see, uh, Willie Banks, there's a Smolty, what is this, 1992, Lee Stevens, McFarlane, uh, who is that, Kevin Reamer, I don't remember, uh, Reimer, Lenny Harris, uh, Julio Machado, I thought he was going to be really good and he was a flop. <laughs> yeah, I remember when he was the Mets manager, Jim uh, Tom, um, Torberg. <sighs> just wasn't very good for my Mets. 
Another Rick Honeycutt. Honeycutt's all over the place. Jack Hell. Another Royce Clayton. That might be Royce's rookie, but he just never was that good. Who was that? Uh, Daryl Kyle. Ah, uh, may he rest in peace. Remember, he passed away a few years back. And Kevin Reese. Uh, Ka Ka Calvin, not Kevin. Calvin Reese. And here is some more of the, the Donald Duck and crew. Or Bugs Bunny, depending on which one you like better. I don't know why I'm going back and putting them all back in packs. I guess I, I can still keep them separated by by years and stuff. Let's see. Um, 92. Dibble, who is that? Uh, Hudson, another Howard, another Rivera, Todd Stottlemyre. Remember, his dad was a very good pitching coach. All right. Rookie card of, who is that? Monty Ferris. Uh, his actual rookie card was a... Gosh, I think it was at 88, like a Team USA or something, I believe. I think, because I, I remember him playing for um, Oklahoma State back in the day. And I thought he was going to be great coming up. Kevin Mitchell, former MVP. Dan Pasqua. Uh, Brian Williams. Steve Williamson. Andy Ashby. Uh, Mike Perez. Finally, it's a Perez that's not Melito. Knob Holtz, <laughs> Kevin McReynolds, remember he played for the Mets for a little while, Mark Leonard, and who's that on the back tapping? Uh, Greg Gagne. Yeah. I'm not going to go through too many more on here just because let will see if I can't dig in there. Maybe we can find some more cards and some sleeves that might be pretty good. Let's see what all's down in here. Another couple of packs of Disney cards. Not Disney. Uh, Bugs Bunny cards. What is this one? Let's see what this is. Uh, 92 again? Is that 92? And no, that's just a regular card in the set. The 92 football again. Anthony Johnson, Jeff Jager, uh, Ricky Dixon, Jim Jeffcoat. Very good player for a long time. Robert Portier, I remember him. Pepper Johnson, very good player for a while. Charles Mann, Marv Cook. Let's just kind of see what all we got down here. Got a little stack. See if there's anything good on the top of them. Hey, wait a minute. We'll pull this one aside. Had a Bonds card right there. There we go. Barry Bonds, 92 Don Ross. Pete Harnish, Tom Flash Gordon, uh, Finley, David Cohn, Chuck Krim, Tommy Green, Chili Davis, uh, Spanky LaVarrier again, Matt Noakes. I remember he, he was supposed to be really good and kind of fell off. Todd Zeal, he was hot for a while. Uh, his first few years were really, really good. Then he kind of fell off the map. Eric Hansen, Gerald Clark, Chris Sabo. Jay Buhner, uh, Ken Caminiti, he was an MVP. Uh, a 
Come on. Go in the bag. I saw that. I saw the Dodger star rookie. I thought maybe it was another Pedro because all I saw was the bottom of it. It's not. Oh, but there is another Tony Gwynn on here. All right. Take all the Tony Gwynns I can find. Pull that Tony Gwynn aside. There we go. Always been a big fan of Tony. Tom Goodwin, Randy Reddy, another one of that one, no, Willie McGee, uh, Rigetti, Delino DeShields, Dwight Evans, Randy Velarde, Sam Horn, uh, Steve Bouchelle, Joey Reed, Andy Anderson, Glenn Allen Hill. Remember Glenn Allen Hill? Was it Glenn Allen Hill? I think he played for the Cubs, and he hit one on uh, the top of a building across the street at Wrigley. I think it was Glenn Allen Hill. Doug Desenzo, another Dwight Evans, Harold Baines Hall of Famer. But I still don't think he's a real Hall of Famer. <laughs> uh, Shane Mack, I remember when he first came up, thought he was going to be really good. Let's see, another Monty Ferris. Yeah, not much in that, but still had another Tony Gwynn. Good old Tony. Well, I will say this. I believe since I redid this laptop, I believe the stream looks like it's been pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Looking through these, there's anything kind of good on the top or anything. A couple more packs of, of those. Albert Bell. Oh, man. Bernie Williams. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll check that out. Bernie Williams. Well, just kind of throw these over here. Nothing much going on there. Bernie. That, um... I don't think that's his rookie because I know he's got a 90 Bowman, kind of a, a draft pick card. So this is it's still early, early Bernie Williams, which I think should be a Hall of Famer. Gary Varsho, uh, Haskith, Reed. It's another one of those Molitor Brett Butler cards. Pete, Pete Incavilia, another Greg Jeffries, Dave Magadan. Two guys that. Uh, being a Mets fan, I really thought it was going to be potential Hall of Famers. Uh, guys, both of them is going to be competing for batting titles, and they just never did it. There you go. Let's see. Ah, oh, there it went, down there. That will probably be about it, but I will go through all these over the next few days and I will update everyone to see if there's really anything else um, that I found good in here. Any other rookies, any inserts, uh, anything cool. Because, um, yeah, you can see this right here would take a long time to go completely through. And But again, again. Let's see. Here's a, a few of the, the good cards we find. Uh, Pedro rookie card. Not too shabby. Uh, 92 uh, Bo Jackson. Top straight Luis Gonzalez rookie. Uh, Juan Gonzalez rookie. You know, some good rookie cards there. Uh, lots of Hall of Famers we found over here. So, uh, old Bernie Williams card. So, lots of good stuff. Tony Gwynn's. So, I, I got to be honest, for the price I paid, which was free, <laughs> again bill thank you so much for hooking me up with all these uh 
yeah, I'm going to have fun going through all of them. But, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't understand yeah, how much fun it is for for guys like me to go through old cards just to see, see you know, part of my old history and trading cards back in the day. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. And, again, hopefully I can find a, a complete set of the Looney Tunes cards just because that'd be cool. But uh, that's all I got. And, again, I will update you guys in a few days on what I was in here, if I found anything else cool. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And let me find my butt. No, meow. There we go. And uh, you guys, have an incredible day.